This year's Royal Welsh Show was the setting for an open meeting of the Food Standards Agency's Welsh Food Advisory Committee. Among the items under discussion was a report commissioned by Hubby Key Cymru, Meat Promotion Wales, which reveals that the Welsh sheep industry would see considerable benefits from the legalisation of skin-on sheep, otherwise known as smokies. Well, smokies are um, meat products um, which are currently illegal um, under European Commission regulations uh, and legislation in Wales, um, whereby uh, the skin on the sheep or goat uh, is left on the carcass uh, and the skin is burnt to provide a a smoked uh, taste to to the meat. What we're trying to do um, is to introduce an evidence base um, to persuade the Food Standards Agency in Wales, in the UK uh, and the European Commission ultimately uh, that the product can be produced safely and without any risk to human health. Smokies are viewed as delicacies in Africa, so with a large African immigrant population in the UK, nearly a quarter of a million people, legalising smokies could bring significant increases in the value of older animals, something that met with universal approval from sheep producers at the show. We believe that there are market opportunities for Welsh sheep producers. This is over and above uh, the quality Welsh lamb that we currently produce and, and market across the world. We believe this is a new market. Uh, we estimate that uh, it could be uh, around £3 million pounds of benefits to the uh, Welsh sheep industry. That equates to uh, approximately 155,000 um, sheep carcasses from Wales. If they were to be procured from Wales and processed in Wales, there would be that level of benefits to the uh, Welsh red meat industry. I think the industry will be for it, uh, especially that the way that they can be produced legally and um, to the correct hygiene standards and it'll be a new product for us uh, Welsh farmers to market. It, it's a pity that it hasn't come uh, sooner because a couple of years ago the trade on the old, old years were, well, die years of work. Um, they're better now, but if uh, we can get a, a couple of quid more for them, more the merrier. It's another boost to the industry and um, is, is another call on, on Welsh lamb and um, any demand on, on the Welsh lamb is obviously going to increase price for producers so it's, it's all very good for the farmer. There's talk about £3 million a year going into the Welsh economy so presumably the Welsh sheep industry would welcome it. Yeah, of course, the um, lamb prices lately, they've been up and down there's no set price what farmers are going to get so this is a huge boost to the economy, yeah, it'd be great. Well, changes to uh, legislation uh, are measured in uh, matters of years rather than months. Um, it's too, too early to say how long the process will take. Um, the Food Standards Ag- Agency first looked at this issue uh, back in 2003. Uh, scientific work um, to justify any change in legislation has taken years thus far. Um, We hope that the FSA board later this year will look favourably upon uh, a change in legislation, potentially, which would need to be uh, taken forward with the UK ministers and the European Commission. Um, But as I say, uh, this is a step in a a long-term campaign which will be measured in terms of years as opposed to months.